1973, Alice and John Tyler founded the Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement to recognize the greatest accomplishments in the fields of environmental science, energy, policy, and economics. For five decades, Tyler Prize laureates have focused worldwide attention on environmental issues that matter. This year, the Tyler Prize recognizes two individuals fighting to protect our oceans from overfishing, Professor Daniel Pauly and Professor Rashid Sumaila. Pauly, a marine biologist, and Sumaila, a fisheries economist, have spent decades researching the impact of overfishing and climate change on the world's oceans. Their analysis has given us a more accurate picture of the health of our oceans. Their work is a testament to the power of international interdisciplinary collaboration and to the critical role that science can play in shaping a livable, equitable future for all. Before industrial fishing, there was an abundance of fish in our oceans. The ocean provided for us. They were an extremely bountiful place. There was huge quantities of fish, big fish just for the taking. Fishing was abundant. Resources were abundant. At the end of the 20th century, we really still were treating the oceans as a frontier, as a place we could exploit. When we started to fish industrially, that was when fisheries really reached the turning point. Those technological innovations like radar and sonar, and really the amount of hiding places for fish diminished greatly at that point. RFMOs, the patchwork system designed to manage the high seas, the areas beyond national jurisdiction, that they were failing to do their job. You know, when the FAO collected data, they trusted the countries who were presenting the information to them. But oftentimes, those data did not include when harvesting went over the designated quota. The oceans were sending a clear signal that there was trouble. Professors Daniel Pauly and Rashid Samaila shared a vision for challenging the catastrophic decline of our oceans. When I came to Canada, the, the giant stock of cod had just collapsed because of overfishing. And so I decided that I would become active in a conservation community. So Daniel walks into my office and we started talking. That was the beginning. Daniel and Rashid suspected that the data wasn't telling the whole story. So what Daniel set out to do is to really reconstruct all of the fish that we catch. And when you do that, you find that the world's fish landings have been greatly underreported. He has advocated to the FAO to improve their fishery statistics, and when they refused, he did it himself with the Sea Around Us project. The launch of the Sea Around Us project, led by Daniel Pauly and supported by Rashid Sumaila, changed everything. The databases that Daniel has built, which have given so many more people the tools to be able to do excellent science and particularly in the world south and that's democratized the whole field of fishery science. Daniel let the world know that no you know the the ocean is not a bottomless pit of fish. Professor Rashid Sumaila's groundbreaking work on fishing subsidies proved the economic case against overfishing. What Rashid did was to think about fisheries globally and to think about the way that capacity enhancing subsidies create these incentives to keep fishing boats operating when they shouldn't be economically. Rashid's work tells us that we can make decisions in marine conservation that are good for humanity and the planet. He's covered bioeconomics, marine ecosystem valuation, game theory, discounting. I think fundamentally Rashid has showed us again and again that overfishing doesn't make sense from an economic point of view. In the global south, most of the people are people of color that are fishing nations. And most of them are women and children that get most impacted by the lack of fish. Overfishing is one of the most critical ecological problems of the 21st century. Unless we make solving overfishing a priority, we will lose far more than just fish and the industries that depend on them. Daniel and Rashid's work has been monumental for ocean conservation, and especially in regions like the Global South, where the problem of food insecurity are really a critical problem. Rashid and I work together well because we have a similarity of purpose. We don't like stupid things happening, and 
And basically, overfishing is stupid. It's just a nice marriage, if you like, of ecology and economics in a beautiful way. That helps us to do things we couldn't do alone. Daniel's and Rashid's work has transformed the way that we think about the ocean. We are in the midst of the United Nations Decade of Ocean Sciences for Sustainability, and the Tyler Prize Executive Committee recognized Daniel Hawley and Rashid Sumaya as two champions of sustainability of the world's oceans. A lot of the world's governments and fishing industries are still listening to the siren voices of the FAO telling them that everything's fine. You, you can look at them and simply say, you're running out of fish. The question was not whether hope or not. The question is what we're going to do about it. Then some of us say, oh, look, I'm not, it's just me. What I do doesn't matter. What you do matters. Little things add up, so let's all do our part. <laughs>